Hi everybody, it's Laura, and this is a cash envelope unstuffing of sorts. I've already kind of unstuffed, but um, I forgot to do a video of it. And what it is, is I am paying for my dentures. Um, I've got the money here. I've taken everything and condensed it down to larger bills. And I wanted to show you guys what I've done. Um, I've pretty much have emptied this all out except for the $2 bills. Um, but what I'm going to show you is where the money came from and how much I had occurred between all of the envelopes. Um, I had quit cash stuffing when my friend Fritz died. Um, I kind of went through a whole thing. It was really rough. Um, and I have been, um, struggling with a lot of bills and extra things going on with my car and just everything just kind of bloomed at once and I just got kind of knocked off my feet honestly so what I'm going to show you today is because the 6th of September I go to get my upper denture um they they actually do the impression and make the denture and then um, I come home that day with it, but my appointment is at seven o'clock in the morning at Mount Vernon, which is like almost a two hour drive or over two hour drive. And that means I have to pay for hotel room the night before my gastroparesis has blown to a point where I am. You're going to hear Jack's in the background. I'm at a friend's house. Um, and he's my driving Miss Daisy because I can't drive that far. So, I have to pay for a hotel room for two people. I have to pay for his meals. My gastroparesis has gotten to the point where I can only handle, like, liquids and pureed foods down to, like, baby food, con you know, stage one baby food consistency. Um, I'm learning a lot of um, different things that I actually kind of enjoy. Um, like, I tell people pureed chili is actually kind of good um you'd be surprised so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open these and i'm going to um kind of walk you through how much was in each little envelope we're going to count it down write it all out and i'm going to show you what the totals were that I pulled out um i should have done the video as i went um and we're going to show you what i've got so the first one um I'm going to, I've got it upside down. Let me bring you where you can see it um, a little better. The lighting in here is not really good. Um, I did take some, uh, take out the Christmas and I'll write that down. Let me get my glasses on because I cannot see. He's a mechanic, so you're going to hear his stuff in the garage here. There was $15 in the Christmas one. So I'm going to write down $15. And the um, birthday had $4 in it. The giving had $4. The um, $1 challenge. Actually, I wrote down how much that had on a slip of paper. It had $31 in it, guys. So, um, I'm going to try to restart this. I did not touch my $2 bills. Um, so they're still in there. And my sparkle fund, I had $168. So I'm going to add that up. 5, 9, 13, 14, 22, 3, 6, 12. So that was $222 that was in here, not counting the $2 bills. And then this is the other one. And like I said, I also had car parts come out of my money and a lot of other stuff. So the personal only had a dollar in it. So I'm going to start another column. I don't know if you could see what I wrote here because it is so dark. Start another column. We had one dollar. Next one was help. Um... It had five dollars in it. The 
slush fund had four. The car maintenance um, had five. I've had to buy um, a coil pack and plugs and wires for my plugs and cap cover things. They're like a little boot thing that goes over. That's what's getting put on my car today, plus an oil change. And I think it also needs injectors, which is like another $75. Just yay me. Um, did I write that down? Yes. Then we have the cemetery fund. And um, I now no longer have my sidekick. So um, when it's late in the season, I'll just restart that fund. So a lot of these I'm just going to restart, guys. So there was 26 there. This is my gardening fund. And I will tell you, I did use my gardening fund for my flowers. Um, I might add a picture of my flowers in here. Oh, my gosh. Guys, they turned out beautiful. Um, but the money that was in here for the flowers did go towards my flowers. I will tell you that. Um, emergencies, I had $5 in there. So there's that. Um, I probably won't include, well, I'll just leave it in there. It has all been expenses that have occurred. Um, let me see, I should be able to tell which ones. I had um, filled and which ones I had not filled. All right, these are the ones that I had filled. Let me get these all out. There we are, because there's the blank ones that I had set on the side. So, um, I'm just going to write these out. We have two, four, six, put down six, and we have three, six, eight, ten, two, seven, twelve, Five, ten, twelve, three, eight, eleven. I didn't realize I had this many filled. Two, four, seven, ten. Two, four, six, nine. And 5 is 14. All right, let's add this all up. So we have 5, 10, 16. Let's see if you see this. 5, 10, 16, 21, 25, 30, 31, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there was 61 there. And then we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 15, we have a 1 to carry, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 75, so we have $222, $61.75, so we're going to add that up, and we have 8, 2 and 6 is, uh, 8 and 7 is 5, and that makes one to carry 358 and then I also had to um, add to this um, as I went um, just out of my pocket to come up with the 450 that I needed so there's the $450 my dentures are $200 there is going to be um, because I'm getting the, the cheaper ones I don't get to pick the tooth color but at this point, it don't really matter. I just want my smile back. Um, when I smile, you don't really see my bottom teeth. 
Um, and then there's a $50 office call. So that takes care of that. Plus the, there are, there is a $68, um, hotel room, but I looked at the reviews on that hotel and they weren't very good. And then there's a $78 hotel. So I'm going to go with the $78 hotel. Of course, there's taxes and everything. And so that blows that $100. Um, just in case there's any other things, this is going to cover my gas. Um, and buy him meals and things because uh, we have the night before. We have the, the day of. And what happens is I, I have to be there by 20 minutes to 7 to fill out paperwork. I'm going to actually be there by 6.30 in the morning to fill out paperwork. He leaves me there. So he's going to have to go get breakfast and things. And he's going to, I'm going to call him when I'm done. What they do is at 7 o'clock I go back. I see the dentist. He's going to look at my teeth. They're going to take me back. Um, I wait after I see him. They take me back. They do the impression. And then they release me. And what happened is one of my front teeth, it's mostly a filling. Um, the filling came out and then it broke in half. Um, what happened that broke both of my front teeth, like both of my front teeth are the same way, half filling. Um, that's because I was in an abusive relationship. Both of my teeth were cracked straight down the middle and that's what happened to them. So... This is um, the result. Um, so, you know, that was like 30 years ago. And um, here we are, 30 years later, I'm getting upper dentures and getting my smile back. But here we are, $450 for my trip. Um, and anything left, I'm going to give to Alan. Um, because, you know, he's taking two days off that he could be working and making money here in his garage. And, um, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, anyways, um, I had a lot of people tell me you need to get Cash App. So I did, I have a Cash App now. Um, and, uh, so... That's my unstuffing. The only thing I didn't take out was my $2 bills because I really, um, I remember my dad used to save $2 bills. And I can remember the thick old stack of $2 bills he had when he passed away. And my mom actually used them to survive on. And I can't remember how many there were. And that was like, gosh, almost 30 years ago. I think he died 28 years ago. So, you know, you never know. That's something you should save. Something that you could put up and save. $2 bill here, $2 bill there, a couple here, a couple there. Because they, they build up. And they look kind of nice just sitting there. And you can stash them away. And, you know, $2 adds up quicker than one. And I remember my dad saying, you never know when you're going to, you know, need $2. You know, back then $2 was a package of hamburger and a loaf of bread. And that was like a meal, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. So, there's my money. Um, and uh, like I said... It's my, my denture money, and um, I'm ready to make this next step and get on with my life. Well, get on with getting my smile, because that's, uh, that's, that's been my whole goal with all this, is to, you know, try to get these to lay out there. They don't want to lay, because they've been put away. Um, so... You know, it's all about goals, setting goals, and I've reached this goal. Um, now I have to restart my um, 
cash stuffing. I just wanted to be open and clear with everybody where I'm at. Um, I did get my YouTube check this week, but with more repairs to my car and buying my phone card and everything, um, <laughs> that $100 did not go far. So just being upfront with everybody, I did unstuff everything and it's for my dentures. And of course I had to add more to it. So everybody, that's where I'm at and I'm looking forward to doing a hard reset on my cash stuffing. So hopefully by the first of the month, I will be restarting and refilling these babies. Let's see what I can do because, you know, when you put your mind to it, you never know what happens. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. I'll talk to all you guys down in the comments below. Bye, everybody.